welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca Ella. If you're new here, hi, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like and whatnot. Um, I've just got this plaster on my finger right now because this is, this is my right hand, so you are going to notice it. Um, I've got a paper cup. Nothing serious, but it's dupe. It's a dupe paper cup. So I'm going to do a look today. Obviously, that's why we're here. It's going to be like burnt out, orangey, um, like oranges, ready, brown, with a spotlight cut crease. That's what we're gonna go for today. So I'm gonna start with my brows, because I always start with my brows. For brows, I'm gonna use the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I might even cut my brows out of this, just because it takes long. I'm just gonna brush my brows through first. I would like them to look quite messy, to be fair, for this video. So I could do a messier brow. I say it's not going to be as harsh, but we'll see about that. I like to bring my brows in a little bit closer. Just a little bit. I'm going to go into a darker brown just for the ends. I always do fluffy brows on everyone else, but not ever me. But I really want them. If you're wondering what colours I've used from the Soft Glam Palette, it's Rustic and Cypress Umber. Actually, I think I had my brows trimmed recently. So this might not work out the way I want it to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some brow gel. This is the NYX one. It's just a clear brow gel. And then all the hairs will go up. All of them. Up. Like so. And then I'm going to conceal around them. I'm going to use... P. Louise Base. This is in the rumour shade. You know you're lying when you're rolling it up. And then I'm just going to clean up a little bit around the arch. That's how I clean up around my brows to get like that sharp point on the ends. And then I'm gonna cover up both my eyelids. I'm using this as a base. You basically just don't wanna see any veins. You don't wanna see no brush strokes in the concealer. And then I'm gonna take a brush with nothing on it. And I'm gonna blend out like these bits here, just so when you put the foundation on, it blends over it straight away. So now I'm going to move into the eyeshadow. Um, I've got three palettes in front of me. I've got the Zoeva matte palettes. I'm probably going to use these oranges here. Um, I've got the Anastasia, Anastasia Soft Glam palette because they've got some nice warm colours down here. And I have got the Zulu by Juvia's palette because I really like this brown up here. I might even use no, I'll stick with that for now. So I'm going to start with a fluffy brush and I'm going to start with an orange. This one in the Juvia's palette. This bright orange. Start from the outside corner. And I'm just going to focus through the crease. I wouldn't worry too much about it going under your crease because it's going to get covered anyway. I'm going to drag this right out as well. As you get higher up towards the brow, you want to put lighter pressure on, as that's going to make it fade more. So I've dragged this right out to the end of the brow there. I'm then going to take a smaller brush, and I'm going to pack on a deeper orange. I'm going to go in with this one here from the Zoe the palette. I'm just going to start by patting that on. And I'm going to put this in the inside corner as well. Because it's going to be a spotlight, so you'll need that inside corner. Your last brush, your blending brush, is going to soften that. Soften just the edge. That bit that clearly needs blending. Now I'm just dragging that deeper orange further out as well. 
I'm then going to go in with the brown from the Zulu by Julia's palette. Um, I'm probably going to use the same brush actually, but use it at an angle. And I'm going to put it in the same position, so inside corner, outside corner. Oh, that's a really ready brown. That almost doesn't even look like brown. Can you see that? And then I'm going to put it through the crease. Wow, I didn't expect that. It's good because it goes, but I just didn't expect it to be so warm. Obviously, the more you lay something, the bolder it is. Wow, that's nice. So it's all blended in nicely at the moment. But now I need another brown because I wanted it to be darker than that. I'm going to take Cypress Umbra from the Soft Glam palette and just put that in the same position. Oh, that's so nice. And the outside corner. Now I'm just gonna soften around that. Just a lot of blending. This makes me not wanna do the cut crease now. Just a lot of building up and a lot of blending out. You want to bring it out slightly on that corner because you want to blend it out into that orange. So that is how I'm going to leave it for now. And then I'm going to do the cut crease. So I'm going to use the P. Louise concealer. This is the white one. My eyes are getting so wrinkly as well. I swear it's because of all the blending that I do. I swear they're getting wrinkly. So, oh my god, I'm gonna need a mirror in front of me. So start from the middle and drag down. What I've done now is I've just widened. You saw that I dragged it down and on each side I've widened it. You wanna keep it as curved as possible. You don't want it to be like a straight line on your eye. And you wanna make it wider than what you actually want it to be because afterwards when you blend out the corner, more shadow goes on it so it closes it up makes it a little bit smaller. So hard to get it like completely spot on, but I'm happy with that. Whew. So what I did at the end there, I just used the tip of the brush, like I do with the brows, to carve the brows out. I used that to create a sharp line for the cut crease. Next thing we need to do is blend out the edges. So this corner and the inside corner, you need to blend them out before putting anything on top. If you put something on top of it before, like now, straight away, you'll be left with these lines and they won't budge. You can either drag them outwards, you can drag them inwards or downwards, wherever you like, but it's usually like really small movements. You don't want to be like, woo, I'm going to drag it everywhere. You just want to drag it like a little bit. It's almost like I'm patting as well, like that. It's actually similar to what it's going to look like, actually. And then I need the P. Louise palette because the cream inside here, tripping, is what I'm going to use to go on top. And I have quite a flat brush so that I can get right against that line in the cut crease. And I'm bring it out to like where I've started blending it. When you go up to the line at the top, do not go over it. You want to get really close to it, but not over it. Do go over it, your cut crease won't be as sharp anymore, it will start to blur. And then I'm going to go back into a smaller brush and I'm going to start blending out the edges again. So I'm going to start actually with the brown and I'm dragging out like this way, but I'm moving in like, I'm, like that. This is where the spotlight starts to get smaller. And then I'm going to go into the the dark orange from the Zoe palette. I'm just going to lightly tap that in front of it. The lighter the pressure, the more it will blend out. I'm going to take a little bit of the first orange and just pat that at the front as well. And then I'm going to add the last coat we put on, which was dark brown. And that goes right on the corners. So this is the bit that really creates the definition. Because you don't do much blending, you just leave it on the corner. Rimmel Glam Eyes, and I'm going to do thin to thicker line.
I'm going to do the other right, and then actually, I feel like I need a bit more. Do I need more darkness? I've got a Zoeva brow palette here, and there's a really dark brown at the bottom. So I'm going to use that, because I don't really want black on the top. I think I'll do black underneath. So I'll be back in a second with the other eye done. So this is it without the mascara, without lashes. I'm going to move on to my skin now, do the lashes at the end. I'm actually going to try a new foundation today as well. First, I'm going to put a primer on. At the moment, I'm loving using strobe cream. This one is in gold light, but I also use peach light as a lot as well. But we'll do gold light for today. It also is like a moisturiser, so I really like it because I feel a bit more hydrated too. Especially under the eyes, it's like the main bit. So, the foundation I'm going to be trying today is, I'm sure you've seen it already, but I haven't and I'm really excited to try it and I actually really like the look of it. This is from Primark, it's the Longwear Ultimate Matte, it's the Ultimate, start that again. It is the Longwear Ultimate Matte Foundation, Double Coverage Matte Finish Oil Free, boom. So this is the one that's meant to be like um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I really like the bottle, the bottle is heavy, it's definitely glass. I really like that it's square. You do have to pour it out just like you do with, with the double wear. You have to pour it onto something. So I'm going to put it onto a palette. I'm going to use a brush first just to whack it all on. Actually, I'm not the biggest fan of double wear, which is why you don't see me using it. Um, I don't like... I find that it goes into... I can't tell what I'm doing. If I'm doing. Like I find double wear sinks in and clings onto everything. So like if you've got sport, spots or hair on your face or pores, I feel like it clings onto them more and makes them more obvious. It is for coverage. I'm liking it so far. Just trying to figure it out right now. I like it because it's yellow toned as well. You know what, I'm gonna wait to see before I can say anything. I'm gonna put my concealer on. I'm gonna use MAC Pro Longwear in NC20. I'll tell you what I always do, I've never noticed because I always do it, but when I edit my video and I look back it looks so funny that I always cover just my top lip. I'll never cover the bottom one really unless it's by accident, but I always end up just, as I'm going around, end up covering it. Let's just cover it. And then everything needs to be set, so I'm going to go into the NYX. This is something I use all the time. And I'm going to use the yellow for under my eye. And then I'm going to contour with the same palette. I'm actually using a fluffier brush, so it's going to be like a softer, well, I, right, I say softer contour. MAC give me sun with an even fluffier brush. This doesn't have to be as precise, this is more just to warm up the skin. And then highlight. I don't know what highlight to go for today. I do, I do know what highlight I'm going to go for today. I'm going to go for Dull Beauty and Shine Bright is this one here. And then I'm going to move on to the lower part of my eyes. Right, underneath, it's going to be similar to on top. By the way, that foundation, I do really like it. I, I, I really like it now. Like, look how nice that looks. All together. No one's going to go out with it just on its own anyway. You're just not. I'm going to start with the Juvia's palette. That brown. And I'm going to use that first underneath. That brown is so nice. It's just like a warm brown. Look how nice that brown is. As you get to the inner corner, you want it to go thinner. And I'm connecting it to the outside part of the, you know, the top part of the eyeshadow too. So, the medium brown is on now. And now I'm going to go into the orange. Probably just going to go into the light one because there's not as much space underneath. There's the black liner. I'm not going to go straight into black. I'm going to go into that dark brown that I used. That really dark one from the brow palette. Like so, bitch. This is NYX Suede Lip Liner in Leon. I think I'll go 
of Yash. Yash is not my favourite. I'm actually going to put a little bit of that naturally transformed. Just the middle. And then I'm going to get some powder to pat on top. This will make it super matte. Like that. So now it's super matte. Okay, I'm just going to put my lashes on and I'll be back in a second. Let me shimmy, shimmy, shimmy in, shimmy, shimmy, yay. To straighten my hair as well. The last thing is literally setting spray. So, Iconic Prep Set and Glow, this is in the original one. Give that a, a little shake, 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 shake. A little spray, 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 spray. That can just let my little bits of hair go down as well, go down. Damn, my face is drenched. Girl, can you imagine it fucked up? right this second so this is the final look i hope you like it i hope you enjoy it it is a more subtle spotlight eye not as bold and out there but it's a really wearable one like on a night out i would wear this definitely and i'm not one to wear cut creases on a night out i'm a very smoky girl you wouldn't think that when you look at my channel but yeah i would do more smoky looks myself but i hope you enjoyed this look if you would like to see more looks like this then make sure to subscribe, like my video, watch other videos, have a little look around, see what you like. If you did like this video, then subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.